Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're feeling all right. Welcome to week number 7,332 of lockdown. I'm actually feeling pretty good today. I feel happy. I feel content. I feel a little bit of inner peace going on. It's uh, not too shabby. I've had a little bit of a wobbly couple of days just for a few different reasons. And I think mostly just the fact that I'm missing people. It's such a roller coaster, isn't it? Like some days you wake up and you're genuinely like, I'm fine, this is fine. And then other days you wake up and you're that meme of the little cartoon dog sitting in the burning room going, this is fine. <laughs> I've definitely been the cartoon dog for the last maybe like 48 hours. Today feeling a little bit better, but it is tough. It is tough being away from loved ones at the moment. I'm really missing my mum, <laughs> for example. Really missing my mum. It's been a very long time now since I've seen her. I think it's actually been since like late February early March now that I haven't seen my mum and it's really uh it's really starting to kick in but a couple of things really cheer me up today a I'm gonna give her a ring this afternoon and we're gonna have a big catch up and a big chat and I'm really looking forward to that and the other thing is that I've got a little project that I'm gonna work on today and I'm really excited about it because I'm working with Burt's Bees on this video to put together a little care package for my mum which I'm so pleased about it's such a lovely thing to be able to do and the other little gem of this video which I'm really excited about is that at the end of this video there is actually gonna be a little competition for you guys to win a care package from Burt's Bees as well so you can either nominate yourself if you feel like you need a little bit of a pick me up if you're having a bit of a rough time or the other part which I love is that you can nominate someone who you think really deserves a care package maybe a key worker someone who's been having a really difficult time through all this craziness there's going to be a competition at the end of this video that you can enter to win a care package so that's one of the things on my list to do today I also want to get some laundry done it is laundry day in this house I've got dirty socks coming out of my ear holes I think we might have a little bit of gardening to do <laughs> which is so wholesome and exciting. Even though I like technically slept quite well, slept straight through the night I think, I had one of those dreams that was so intense that you wake up and you actually feel a little bit tired because the dream has been so like intense in your head. I had this dream, even though I know other people going on about their dreams is like the worst ever, but I feel like I have to tell you this one. Someone might know what it means. I'm a big believer in dreams meaning things. So if anybody knows, last night I dreamt that I got put in charge of like the bird house of like a zoo somewhere so like this one big room where all the birds lived it became my new job to look after this birdhouse and I kept leaving the door open <laughs> so everyone was getting so cross with me they were like Lucy I keep telling you the one most important thing you have to do at a birdhouse is keep the door closed <laughs> and I kept forgetting so if anybody knows what deep psychological issues that can reveal please do let me know I have had a shower I've changed from my night pajamas into my day pajamas just lockdown things. They're actually so comfy though, let me show you. I'm not sure if they're still available, but these were one of my best pre-lockdown purchases. As soon as it hinted that we might be staying at home for a while, I was like, I need some comfy clothes to see me through. So I bought this set from ASOS and it is literally the comfiest, softest set. You might also spot here, Today is laundry day. First thing on my list, need to get some laundry sorted and I want to change the bed. It's quite a nice day actually, it's really warm. It's not too sunny, but it feels really warm. So it'd be a good day to get a load of stuff out on the line. Exciting, rock and roll, anarchy. And the main reason I actually need to change the bed today, it's weekend, so it's time to change the bed anyway. But yesterday, <laughs> I don't know why I did this. Why did I do this? Why? Me after every decision I've ever made. I fake tanned yesterday. Why did I do that? who knows riddle me this and also i've done categorically what might be the worst fake tan job of all time i used to be when i was about 17 18 i used to be so good at fake tan because i used to wear it all the time for nights out in liverpool and stuff i used to always be fake tan but apparently much like playing the piano painting a masterpiece fake tanning your own body is a skill that drops off <laughs> you don't continue to practice it. Let me uh, let me show you a couple of highlights we've got going on. This little pinky finger here. Ooh, she's so cute. This wrist is a particularly special little moment that we're all enjoying. If you are a successful fake tan expert, I applaud you. It's a skill. There should be degrees in this stuff. to not start the garden now. We are officially equipped with some new little bits and bobs. I wonder what they all are, do they say? Yeah, should be. Oh yeah. Oh, these are pretty. We've got some, oh, I have these on Animal Crossing. 
life. Real Animal Crossing. So these are Cosmos. We've got some geraniums here. What are these ones? These are pretty. Petunias. Lovely. I'm so excited to have some little pots. Now all we need is gardening gloves, a hose, a trowel, anything else to do with gardening. We have a, um, <laughs> we have a saw. Can't do much with a saw and geraniums, I don't think. Actually, now you've said that, I think you do just sort of pop them out. That seems to ring a bell. Oh, An ancient grandma bell. Apple blossom. They look so pretty. Little pale pink geraniums. Oh, they're gonna look so nice. This is like, um, like a Barbie and you're like playing. <laughs> yeah, you're like one of those heads that you can like put eyeshadow on and stuff. I won't her. go that far. But we've decided that it might be time for this ponytail to become a bun. For the boy to become a man. You called it a, a whale's tail yesterday, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, because it, it goes fans out. It goes and fans out. I think that's just because it's this it's thick, so it can't go like together, so it yeah. has to push apart. So we're gonna see if we can form it into a, a, a half bun. I can't believe you're gonna have a man bun. I don't, I don't what want, has become of you? I don't really want one, but at this stage of lockdown, I'm like Buzz Lightyear, Mrs. Nesbitt, I've like lost my mind. <laughs> I'm just letting you, you, do, see it the you <laughs> do whatever you want to my head. Oh, I think it will. Mm, sort of. It sort of half goes in. Have you done it already? Yeah. I mean, it's not hard. You li like literally instead of like the last loop of the bubble. Yeah. Rather than letting it snap around, you just sort of curve the hair in into it. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. It just looks the same to me. No. Is that not exactly the same? It's a it bit was? more of a bun. I don't think we're quite there yet, to be honest. A couple more weeks, I think. You might get to go to a hairdresser within a couple of weeks, though. Oh, we'll see. I wonder if you'll ever get to the man bun stage. Oh, I see what you've done. Yeah, so you just, like, catch it in there. Nope. Important lessons that I never thought I'd have to teach out it, you. Out it goes. How to do a bun. Back to normal. <laughs> you're sticking with the ponytail for now. I guess so. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> I can see her. Lovely. Yeah, you want them. So do you put all the same type in one pot or do you mix them up? I would assume the same type in one pot. There you go. There she is. Made the jump. Hello. You come to investigate. Get in a pot. Hey. There she blows. Oh, this is so exciting. Our first little plant pots. It isn't a house plant. <laughs> Two labourers over here and project manager in the corner. <laughs> Checking that everything's running smoothly. Apple blossom team, boots with the bones. Come on, you little rascal. There you go. There it is. Hey. Roots are crazy, aren't they? Roots are crazy. Crazy, man. Gardening with Lucy Woods. <laughs> Roots be crazy. It's just, these will die in a week and be like, Mom! Oh God, please me some, don't let that happen. Can you buy me some more plants? That would just be the worst. Please don't let that happen. I've killed them all. <laughs> now we'll look at them. We'll raise them as if they're our own. Hmm. They are our own. They are now. with our fair hands. All those Saturdays at a garden centre when you were 16. I'm finally paying off. We really need to invest in a proper watering can now. <laughs> Not just a pretty one from our bonus. Here they are. The four pots. We will raise you well. While we've been sitting out here, we've decided that this big hideous beast of a weed needs to go because it's just awful. Chunky boy. Is that like aloe vera or something? Ooh, I don't think so. <laughs> go on. Wee! There she blows. Congratulations. Like a fisherman. Oh, it looks snaily on it. You look like one of those blokes who's entered like world's biggest vegetable competition. Yeah, well, it genuinely felt more grown up to be potting plants than it did to buy a house. So that's interesting. Don't at me, but the ultimate lunch, a fish finger sandwich. Doesn't get much better than this. I feel like people will judge this decision. What the sauce? If you want to up your fish finger sandwich to all new levels of delicious, you got to make the secret sauce, which is a combination of mayo, ketchup, about one pot ketchup, five pots mayo. And then you want to chop up a pickle real fine, mix it in. 
Trust me on this one. Okay, this is the bit of today that I've really been looking forward to. Should we put a little care package together? Let's do it. Mum, if you're watching, switch off right now. I'm gonna tell you not to watch this video anyway, so it's a surprise. But if you're being sneaky, so Burt's Bees very kindly reached out and asked if I would like to put something together for someone who I'm missing, someone who's having a tough time right now. And my mum was the first person I thought of because it's been a really long time since I've seen her. I'm really missing her now. She's quite lonely because my stepdad is always up a ladder painting the house or DIY wiring something and this week she's also gone back to work so she's going to be working full time amongst all this madness and um it just seemed like the perfect chance to be able to send off a little package to treat her to something nice so i'm going to show you what i'm putting into my little care package for her and i'm really excited about all this i know she's just gonna love it first thing that i knew had to go in the box right now is hand creams and i'm sure i don't have to tell any of you how much hand cream is a total lifesaver right now i don't know if anybody else's hands have aged about 95 years <laughs> in this process and not just because of the dodgy fake tan obviously with all the mad frantic hand washing and hand sanitizing that's been going on for weeks now i know my hands are like scaly lizard creatures and uh, i'm sure my mum's probably are as well <laughs> so i love these little pocket size Burt's Bees hand creams. I've got one in the rosemary and lemon scent and then one in the orange blossom and pistachio scent. I actually have one of the orange blossom and pistachio hand creams myself. I keep it on my bedside table and try and put it on every night before I go to sleep because my fingers get so sore and can confirm it is the most delicious scent. It literally smells like, you know, the chocolates that you get at Christmas and you get those like orange cream ones. It genuinely smells like the inside of them. So if they are the first ones you reach for at Carimbo, you need to get your hands on some of those. And it makes my hands feel so much better. It's such great relief for super dry hands because I'm such a finger biter. My hands get so sore. This is one of the ones that I really rely on. And then alongside these two little cuties, I've also got this one, which is like a Burt's Bees staple. This is the Burt's Bees Hemp Hand Cream. Hemp is a really great natural ingredient for dry skin. So this is gonna have really like extra long lasting hydration. So that's perfect. Alongside the hand creams, I wanted to pop in a few little essential pamper products because Everyone deserves a pamper right now, especially anyone who's still working full time, who's finding stuff a bit tricky. So I'm gonna pop in the Burt's Bees Hemp Body Lotion to go alongside the hand lotion. So after a nice long bubble bath or something like that, full on body moisturizer always makes you feel good, doesn't it? Like a slippery seal. And then I've got some really lovely natural based skincare as well. Um, so I've got the facial cleanser from Burt's Bees and I've also got the daily moisturizing cream to go alongside that. Burt's Bees skincare is so wonderful, particularly if you're quite sensitive because their range is, it's all about being as natural as possible. A really nice fact as well across their whole range, products are actually 98% natural on average, which is pretty unique and pretty amazing. Perfect for sensitive skin, which I think mum does have actually. So um, she's gonna really enjoy using these, a little cleanser and a moisturizer to have a little bit of a glow going on. I think I would probably speak for everyone when I say that makeup is mostly a bit of a no-go right now. Every so often I'm having a day where I wanna spruce myself up a bit. Or if I just wanna feel a little bit more human, I'm using kind of very, very easy breezy, no effort kind of products just to stop myself looking quite so tired all the time. My mum's kind of like a very natural, fuss free kind of approach to makeup anyway, but I know she will absolutely love these. Anything that's kind of like a little bit of a tint to it, a little bit of a sheen, very kind of barely there kind of makeup, she's all over. These are the tinted lip balms from Burt's Bees. If you've never tried these, these are so underrated. The shade Rose is one of those, you know the products that are always in the bottom of your bag because you know that you can reach for them whenever you want a little bit of something. The tinted lip balm in Rose is one of those products for me. It is always in my bag whenever I'm out and about. And one of my friends introduced this to me. I can't remember who it was. It was a while ago. And anyway, I've had it in my bag since basically. They're just kind of a very sheer, girly, soft kind of wash of color. They're really, really pretty. Um, and these are 100% natural too, which I really like. So I've got one of these in the shade Hibiscus, which is a little bit pinker. And then I've also got one of these in the shade Rose, which I know mum is gonna love. So I'm excited for her to try those. I knew that lip balms were a necessity in this little care package. So I have popped in a little trio of these as well. I've got the honey flavor delicious. I've got the hemp flavour which is super duper moisturising and last but not least the little cherry on top. Can't go wrong with a classic so this is the Burt's Bees beeswax lip balm which I just feel is like pretty iconic actually because I know my mum and I know her approach to beauty and I know the kind of thing she enjoys I wanted to make sure everything in this little package was nourishing everything very natural a lot of hydration and just kind of like products that really feel like you're putting some care into yourself while you're applying them and as I said the other part of this which I was so excited about is that Burt's Bees have also very kindly given me a package of these goodies to offer up to you guys we're gonna have a little comfort 
competition up in here. Hey, you can enter for yourself if you've been having a really rough time and you deserve some goodies. Or, which I really love the idea of, you can volunteer someone as tribute and kind of nominate someone. Maybe someone who's been working as a key worker this whole time, been kind of on the front line dealing with it all deserves a little pamper and a few little treats or maybe just someone that you really love just pop a comment on this video explaining why someone deserves to win and i will pick a winner i'll pick something that warms my heart all the dates rules regulations t's and c's all the boring stuff is going to be in the description box down below as well if you want any more info so all these lovely bits and bobs from burt's bees were obviously provided by burt's bees which is so fantastic of them but i'm also going to pick some other little goodies just to kind of make this extra lovely and uh, maybe you're kind of inspired to do a little care package for someone who's far away someone that you can't get to right now someone you're really missing uh, maybe this will give you a few ideas of what else you could add in the past few days i've put together a little amazon list so that i could think about how it all fit together <laughs> have i been putting too much thought into this yes is mum gonna be like why did you send me all of this stuff <laughs> Also, yes. Let me talk you through. Let me uh, let me uh, set the scene for you here. So first thing, I thought a nice big Yankee candle. You can't go wrong with making your pamper even an extra cosy, can you, by lighting a massive candle. So I started here. I thought I'll get her a Yankee candle in one of my favourite scents. This is the Fireside Treats one. Oh my God, if you have not tried this. Then after the candle, my next priority was making sure there was a really good book in there because she's like me. She's a really big reader. So I thought I might as well add in the one that I'm reading at the moment and loving so so much i'm literally savoring every word of this book so i've gone for where the crawdads sing then seeing as she is the biggest stressor in all of the world i thought a really cute little sleep mask had to put some chocolate in there would a care package be complete without some kind of delicious snack absolutely not i've kept it classic with a big giant bar of dairy milk <laughs> there is some quite random stuff on here i'll be honest the next thing she's a big tea drinker so i thought it would be nice to pop in a little box of tea pigs some really posh tea bags which would be nice and soothing a little bit random but i thought it'd be a really cute idea to put a dvd in there so i was trying to think of a good film that she'd really want to watch but actually i thought it would mean a little bit more if it was like something a little bit nostalgic that we like used to watch when i was little so i've added in the mary poppins dvd <laughs> Then I wanted to pop something a little bit crafty, a little bit creative in there because mum is very like me. She loves like spending her time sitting doing something creative and hands-on. So I thought she might also enjoy the colouring book that I've been really enjoying at the moment. I got this for my birthday but it's actually a Harry Potter colouring book. I find it very therapeutic and relaxing so that should be really good when she's feeling stressed as well. Essential, some fluffy socks for any pamper evening. And last but not least... I mean, this is super duper random, but I'm also going to add in some sunflower seeds because <laughs> I just thought that was quite cute. A little kind of nature-y kind of green fingered gift and she can grow some sunflowers in the garden. I don't know whether she'll want to. So those are all the little goodies that I'm going to add into my mum's care package. She'll probably think I've gone insane, but I think it's a cute gesture. <laughs> Got a few more prints to add to the gallery wall today, which I think we're going to get done now. We're just debating about which to put where such a big commitment so the ones that i put up the other day these were all the ones i bought together but we've actually got a few other like slightly more like personal ones to go up as well um so they're the ones that we're trying to decide which way around they should go this is the one that we bought in walt disney world <laughs> it's the aristocats this was drawn by one of the disney artists at disney world um so that has to go somewhere and actually because the colors of this little feature wall are kind of orangey we also have this extremely cool one which i picked up from one of my favorite print websites actually i'll make sure to link them down below they're called telegram i really love it it's got such a retro feel to it so i'm thinking maybe that one could go up there does that look weird i think it looks a bit weird adam's anti-tapestry it's just a bit like a bit of carpet on the wall <laughs> isn't it i think it looks good in here but i just think it looks a bit weird on there okay with all the other frames and then that yeah you're probably right I'll take my tapestry and go. Oh, yeah, I think that looks really nice on that wall. And I like that the orange ties it in. And hey, that's a cat. It's also evened out the wall now because it had this massive one on yeah. the right. Now it's it makes a bit it look more... a bit more of a gallery, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If we, so if we just get one more there, that'll kind of... Thing is with this sort of thing is everything you add one, you need oh, to yeah. almost add another to even it out and you just end up chasing your own tail of it. I think we need like one more A4 there. What does that one look like there? Does it not work? I this one because it's got such bright colours in it. I love this though. This was a Prezi from your brother and sister. From James and Lucy, yeah. No, it doesn't really, it doesn't really fit. No, it's not the same vibe. It's too it? blue. Mm. What's about to my tapestry? Let's try that again. 
Nah, look weird, <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a good vlog, just following you around the house, putting that up in various that's places. Too little, but that's face. I'll put it away again. <laughs> <laughs> pat, pat. I was critiqued heavily last time we had apple rolls on these vlogs because we use tonic instead of soda. You're looking at a girl who can't tell the difference between a six pound bottle of wine or a 30 pound bottle of wine. So in my world, <laughs> it certainly shan't make much of a difference. I mean, it's 10 to five, that'll do. Adam's prepping tacos. Taco night, taco night. It's taco night in our house. Taco night. Make a little marinade taco for the steak. Delight. What kind of marinade? Um, well, <laughs> so far garlic in a bowl. <laughs> the recipe we're using is jalapeno and lime, but we don't have any jalapenos, so it's lime. <laughs> Times are hard. No jalapenos, no it? soda water. What are we, eh? Philistines, eh? Thought while I'm having my little late afternoon Animal Crossing session, <laughs> now a daily tradition, I would give you a little tour, maybe a house tour rather than a full island tour because I feel like this will appeal to a very niche amount of you. So if you'd like to see my full island, then please do let me know. It's an absolute tip at the moment, to be quite honest. We're going through some major renovations. Is this working? <laughs> I'm hoping you can see this a little bit. Anyway, this is my little lady. This is my best pal these days. And this is my living room. Let me give you a little tour. I see you in the reflection. <laughs> yeah, I know. How do people do this? I will never be a gamer. So this is my living room. This is my writing desk. We've got a little typewriter. Some documents going on here. She's a she's a writer documenting her times on the island. And I tried to put in some little little nods to our real life living room here. So we've got the fireplace with some plants and a little candle and there's a little cat bed here. Obviously my islander has a cat. Round this way. This is my cool little record player, my box of vinyls. Oh, I'm sitting in the cat bed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, around this way. So obviously we have a leopard in our living room and I managed to find these tigers Which is such a cute little tribute to our real-life living room. And that's about it That's all that's going on in the living room here. I love my retro wallpaper. I think that's very cool I'll show you my bedroom. Adam's on the camera to try and make it a little bit more professional see me in a little reflection there, like it. And this is my bedroom. This needs a little bit of work I'm just trying to gather some cute things for it basically, but I love this little bamboo shelf unit that's very cute and my tapestries on the wall sewing machine and a sewing project in the corner and then trying to add some greenery in we're getting there so kitchen i've gone for a bit of a bit of a diner vibe not really through choice basically just because the game kept giving me diner things <laughs> so i kind of just had to roll with it we've got a nice little fridge and a cake mixer and a little hobby unit. I've got my espresso machine, which I love. That's so cute. I am not a time traveller, so it takes me a very long time to do anything on Animal Crossing. <laughs> but that's my little house. It's coming together. Okay, that's enough Animal Crossing for one day. Would you like to talk me through this absolute taste sensation in front of me uh, right now? Yeah, I could talk you through the bits. Taco night in this house. Uh, we have what we got? Left, leftover taco, or well, I guess they're just mini vetas, really. From grated cheddar. <laughs> I guess it'd be a pico de gallo. So, nice, I like the pronunciation. Uh, that's all right. Um, yeah, tomato, onion, coriander, lime, chili, Yum. garlic, Tesco sour cream. Sour cream. Uh, In the blue pot, one of your finest creations. Leftover kind of pink pickled onions. These make everything into instantly the most delicious food you've ever eaten. Roasted Ooh. peppers and onions, and then a little bit of rump, steak. Rump steak that we marinated in. Lime and what a dins. garlic and all sorts. Chef Adam, over and out. We're going to watch the last, most recent Star Wars movie, which we are yet to see. Excited? I'm very excited. I'm excited too, but it got very mixed reviews, didn't it? I think we'll probably quite like it. Because... I think we'll like it too, because we're not hardcore Star Wars. Yeah. We just like Star Wars, so I think we're going to enjoy it. We liked the others, didn't we? Yeah, the others were good. Especially the first one. The first one was really good. So, Rise of Skywalker. Here we go. And that's a wrap on today's vlog. So thank you so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget, if you fancy entering the competition to win the Burt's Bees care package, or you'd like to nominate someone to win who you think is worthy of a little pamper sesh, all you've got to do is leave a comment on this video. Let me know who you think should win and why. I'll pick a winner and all the details you need to know are gonna be in the description box down below. You can nominate me if you'd like. I don't think that's what they're going to do. It's been a really nice day, actually. It's been a nice day, yeah. Garden activities, tacos, Animal Crossing. 
What more can, what you, go more on? could you want? Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely weekend. Look after yourselves and we'll see you very soon. See you in a couple of days. <laughs> Shall I do a Star Wars noise? Oh yes please. That you can then, I don't know how the internet works, if you chop it and you can then use it on this bit. Yeah. That was good. Well, I don't know what it was. It was just a space noise. It was a lightsaber, surely. Pew. Pew. Beep, beep, boop, bop, 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 bop. That's good. You do a good one of him. It's the best impression I do.